This video tutorial on finding traffic is extremely important for you as an affiliate because this is your number one job. Everything else comes after you figure out how to find potential buyers and then divert them over to your merchant's website. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, first you need to know what you're looking for. Um, a lot of people, when they're talking about traffic, don't really have a firm grasp about what they're talking about. And I've never heard it, heard it described this way, but let me give you the analogy or the metaphor of the farm and the river. Pretend for a second that rather than having a website, you in fact have a farm. And in order for your crops to grow, obviously you're going to need water. So uh, you're going to want to locate your farm next to a river. If your farm is not next to a river, then you're, a lot of people talk about creating traffic. Well, that's as silly as the farmer has a farm out in the middle of nowhere trying to just create a river out of thin air. It's just not going to happen. But there are lakes, there are rivers, these things exist. So you can either plan ahead and put your farm close to that water supply, or you can figure out where the water supply is and see if you can divert a substantial amount of it over to your farm. Okay, obviously in this metaphor, the farm is your website, the river is the traffic or potential buyers. So let's go ahead and uh, leave that analogy for a second and get to the details about how you're going to find traffic. Now, again, you're going to hear other people talk about creating traffic. Well, the fact is traffic can't be created, but I'll tell you where you can find it, how you can get your message in front of it. And traffic isn't free. Uh, despite what some people say, getting uh, to the top of uh, the rankings in Google, Yahoo, and MSN is not free when you factor in the, uh, the value of time. All right, so let's talk about traffic isn't created. Uh, traffic already exists. People go online and they spend their time doing the things that they enjoy doing, whether that's sending emails or looking at YouTube videos, whatever that may be. Your job is to figure out where your potential buyers are, are online, what they like to do, and then getting your message in front of them. Uh, so uh, you want to get their attention on this other website where they already are. This is finding that water supply and bringing them back to yours. Now, let's talk about all traffic is purchased. So in other words, there's no such thing as free traffic. Getting your message in front of someone takes either time or money or both. And time is money. That's not just a, um, a, a, a hollow cliche. That's the reality. If you are not spending any money, but you're using a substantial amount of your time, that's time you can't devote to other activities, other marketing activities, uh, time that you can't spend with your family or do anything else. So time truly is money. And okay, so so you might be thinking, well, what about re repeat traffic? I've got, let's say I got this blog and I've got visitors who come back time and time again every week to see what new, uh, what new blog posts or articles I've put on the website. Well, uh, once again, you've invested the time and energy to create a compelling reason for someone to come back. So Again, this is not free. The repeat traffic is not free. It's just a wise investment, a successful investment of your time and energy. Same thing with a link or referral from a third-party website. If someone finds your website and they find it valuable, worth talking about, they want to share it with their readers or their uh, possibly their newsletter subscribers, then that probably came about because you had something worth talking about on your website. Again, that takes time and energy. So. Again, your job is to find popular websites. I'm going to get to some details that you can sink your teeth into in just a second. But your job is to find those popular websites. You're not going to create traffic. Your job is to find traffic. And then put the right message in front of the right people at the right time. That's the magic trio. Right message, right people, the right market, and the right time. And then divert that traffic. So once you find where people are, got to bring them over to your merchant's website. And there's one of two ways to do that. In a nutshell, you can either send them directly to your merchant's website through your affiliate link. That's one way. And there are pros and cons to that. Or you could send them to your website first and then try to get them to move on to your merchant's website. Obviously, the more steps in the process, the more possibility there is that they're not going to make it all the way to the merchant's website. However, there is the advantage of having the control and the flexibility to do some things with your website that you might not be able to do if 
you're sending traffic directly to your merchant's website. So another analogy, if you'll you bear with me for one more second, is to think of a parade going through your city or your town. So your job is to find that parade route, and when that parade starts, go stand in front of that parade. parade. Go get trampled by the traffic. You're not going to be able to just create traffic out of thin air, but you can find places online where people are congregating, where they're spending their time. So your job is to get in front of them. Let's look at some concrete examples. First of all, there's YouTube. People already like to watch videos. You don't have to convince them to do that. So uh, one thing that you can do is you can create a video. Now, this may be outside of your, uh, out of your comfort zone. This might be a skill set that you currently don't have. But the simple fact remains that if you were good at creating videos, then you could upload, start uploading some to YouTube. And if you're good at it, you would get people's attention. You could probably bring a lot of those viewers over to your website or over to your merchant's website. Google. This is a perfect example. People go online to search for information. They're searching for things. And a lot of these folks go to Google, but you could substitute in Yahoo or MSN. So one thing you could do, rather than spending a whole bunch of time trying to make it to the front page of Google, is you could write an ad. For Google, that system is called AdWords. And in another video, we'll get into the details of that system. And you create the ad, you get in front of um, the people. At the very moment that they're searching for the thing that you think your merchant's product would be a good fit, and then um, you get them to click the link. Go to your website or your merchant's website. Or you could spend the time and energy to get your site ranked higher on Google. Let's go through these a little bit faster so I don't take up too much of your time. Uh, but articles. People go online, they like to learn and research. Article directories are a great way to get your, uh, your thoughts on someone else's website. There are article directories where you can upload your articles for free and they will post them there and you can post a resource box at the bottom of the article to bring them back to your website or sometimes in a very rare event if you're creative to your merchant's website but more often than not with articles you got to bring them back to your website uh, forums is a great place to find uh, to find social interaction people go online to talk about their hobbies or passions or to find answers to questions that they can't solve anywhere else if you're if the, if you find a forum where potential buyers are congregating this is an opportunity for you to be a helpful resource you don't want to spam them. You don't want to be obnoxious, but you could be a helpful resource, be a good, uh, be a good member of the community, the online community, and have a good resource link that leads people back to your website or to your merchant's website. And then there are these answer sites, Yahoo Answers, um, and, and a couple of the other ones where people will go online and ask a question, and then other folks will come along and pose answers. So that's another place that you can. So in general, ask these questions. Where do potential buyers for this product go online? What sort of problems do they have? And what are they looking for when they go to the Google uh, search engine or Yahoo or MSN? Then think about what else they have in common. Specifically, what else are they looking for before they start searching for the, <clears throat> the products that my merchant offers? So quick rundown here of hot traffic sites. you got search engines like Google, Yahoo, MSN, video sites, YouTube, Google, Metacafe, article sites, you got Easy and Articles, Go Articles, forum sites. In another video, I'll show you how to find forums specific to your market. you got social media sites, Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn, group sites like Google Groups, Answer websites like Yahoo Answers, news, shopping like eBay, Craigslist, and Amazon, which are very difficult to your message on, depending on, depending on which, uh, I should say, Amazon is very difficult to get your message on. Uh, eBay, not as much. Web-based email. This is one that is frequently overlooked. A lot of people, whether they have AOL, Yahoo, MSN, or Google Gmail, a lot of people will check their email online. And in order to pay for this service, in order to monetize it, Google, Yahoo, MSN, AOL, and, and the like, they'll put ads around area on the page where someone is looking at their inbox. So as they're reading their